Hello and welcome. This is Sports Fitness, your very own India's first ever sports radio station. And me, Supriya Saxena, I have with me today three very, very esteemed tennis players. One is Captain Cool, Vishal Upal. Second is Rutuja Bosale, who is the Indian tennis player and is right now in Turkey to represent BJK 2022 Indian team. And thirdly, I have with me Sajanya Babisethi. Hello. Hi, everyone out there. Hi. Hi. Hello. So, like, my first question goes to Sajanya. Okay, Sajanya, you have always been a champion since the starting of your tennis career. You, know, you were fantastic at Fed Cup in Dubai, one of the teams which qualified for the World Cup qualifiers at that time. No, when everything was going good, suddenly COVID came in. What came to your mind that moment? Um, well, um, firstly, I got some time off and uh, I got to be at home. Um, so I, I, I kind of enjoyed being at home for a change, which we don't get often. Um, but yeah, I was a little disappointed that uh, I couldn't carry the enthusiasm that I found at uh, Fed Cup, previously known as Fed Cup. Um, from Dubai, I couldn't carry it forward. I was a little disappointed, but um, but I'm glad now everything is almost back to normal. So, ladies and gentlemen, Bhavi Sethi has a career high singles ranking by the Women's Tennis Association WTA of 571, which was achieved on 9 June 2014. She also has a career high WTA doubles ranking of 402. Sajanya, so, you are in Turkey right now representing BJK uh, 2022 team. How does it feel? Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, we have um, when I got a call, I was I was in Australia and uh, I immediately took the chance. And um, it's amazing to represent India anytime. And uh, and yeah, so I'm really looking forward for the matches to begin tomorrow. Okay, now Captain Cool is Sojanya disciplined or not? <laughs> Yes, Sojanya is very disciplined and so is the rest of the team. Uh, you know, the girls have been working extremely hard uh, this week preparing uh, uh, for, the, for the tournament ahead and they have been having their fair share of fun. Uh, I'm sure they'll be making a few more reels and posting them on Instagram and stuff like that. It's important to, it's important to work very hard and also have uh, some fun and keep your energy light because, you know, once the matches start, it's, uh, it's quite intense. So, you know, you, you need to keep your wits about yourself and make sure you're also having a good time. You know, by the way, I have following your Facebook stories right away, you know, and even your Insta stories. The song you picked, they are really a heart of songs. <laughs> Vishal, yeah. like you uh, mentioned fun. So, right at the moment, you just told me that it's raining out there. So, you're missing pakoras and chai sitting in the balcony. <laughs> just watching the rain, uh, you know, falling and you're not able to eat the pakoras. Yeah, Supriya, the problem is now I don't have the luxury. The problem is now I don't have the luxury of eating pakoras. <laughs> so I have to be very careful with what I eat. And uh, yes, absolutely, missing a hot cup of chai for sure. But we've been enjoying the Turkish tea here, and uh, it's it's been quite uh, nice to have uh, you know the local tea here as well. Okay, so now my next question goes to Rutuja. Rutuja. When did you start playing tennis and, you know, what got you interested in the first place? Uh, well, I was eight or nine. Don't really know. I don't really remember what, how old I was. Uh, it was just kind of a hobby because my dad himself was into um, track and field sport. Like he used to do javelin throws and hundred, like 400 meter hurdles. So he wanted to put me in some kind of sport. Didn't know it was going to be tennis eventually. You know, when I played my first couple of, you know, junior matches, it, I just love the nature of the sport, the competitiveness of the sport, which I feel is not just for tennis, but also in life. Um, so, yeah, I just fell in love with the sport and that's how I got into tennis. So, ladies and gentlemen, Rutuja, she made a debut for the Indian Fed Cup team in 2012. In that year, she also achieved the highest junior ranking of world number 55. Bosale, the former Indian number one in the WTA doubles ranking, attended Texas AM University and graduated with a degree in human resources and tourism management in 2017. Oh my goodness. Itna zada padai. Kaise? 
Well, I think option <laughs> nahi tha. I don't think so. I had an option. I had to do it because I was on a scholarship uh, at a very prestigious uh, university. Uh, obviously, tennis was something that got me that scholarship. So, I think I had to do my part to keep the scholarship. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was it wasn't easy going from India to uh, all the way to the United States. But I think uh, I coped up pretty well, and I was able to. Uh, you know uh, get my education as well as keep playing tennis there okay let me guess you know uh, apart from playing tennis you must be very much interested in cricket am i right uh, to, be, <laughs> to be honest not really um uh, yeah okay. my husband, yeah my husband plays cricket and uh, i mean i'm I don't really like the sport, but I eventually fell in love with one cricket player. But uh, yeah, I'm slowly getting and in, getting getting into it. I've started watching a little bit of IPL. I just find the pace of the sport really yeah. slow. Uh, so yeah, I'm 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 getting I'm getting. I there. hope I'm, I I hope he's not listening right now. <laughs> no, he he knows. So I think he's he's actually very like he's prepared to hear this kind of answers. So yeah. So, like Rutuja, what has been the role of your family in your tennis career? You know, tell us about some sacrifices that they have done for you. Uh, my parents have been like rock solid support for me, like since I decided to, you know, take uh, tennis as my career. Uh, my dad, he is in the he's in the police force and has always been away from us. So I feel that is the biz- biggest sacrifice that my mom and dad have done, which is like being away from each other. um you know obviously uh you know to raise the only child you know like i i'm i'm from a very small village in solapur and uh, you know people were telling them like you know she's the only daughter you're putting so much money into her sport like shaadi karke usko jana hai and you know all those typical things you hear yeah. from you hear from people so but my dad and mom they were pretty solid on their decision on what they they said that whatever you choose to do it's we're going to we're going to support it so uh they've just been rock solid uh, supported in every decision whether or i to the united states leaving professional car- professional tennis aside in you know, 16 when 16 17 when i made that decision on my own uh, uh, uh so yeah like people a lot of people told them why is she going you know she's doing so well on the professional tour already it's not a good decision blah blah Uh, whatever you choose whatever you feel is right for you and even now during covid like my decision to get married um and you know into a different household he's a marwadi so it's it's like a full full new transition for me so yeah they've been whatever decision in life they've just been very solid and i just really i'm like very lucky and fortunate to have parents like these like my parents So captain cool on this note i would like to ask you what do you say what do you have to say to the kids you know who actually want to pursue sports as their career what do you have to say to the parents who actually sometimes not really but yeah some person that in society which you know push them to studies you know and they have to you know, adjust with the with the environment yeah i think more children the- Uh, support needed to pursue their dream uh, you know everybody in life cannot be a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer if your child has interest in sport and wants to pursue sport then you have to give them that opportunity to live their dream uh, you know I, i think it i think it's the parents who need to be educated and uh, and and you know especially parents of the girl child uh, you know girls today women today are making it in the world and we have to make sure that we send in girl that girls abroad would get you know where it comes to sports so i think it's it's a very important uh, it's a very important thing for people in india to understand that sports can be a real profession for uh, you know your child in this day and age especially and and especially for the girl child i think it's a great opportunity to pursue sport and you know make it a uh, make it a career where you can stand on your own two feet and you can face the world on your own if need be so i think the parents really need to be supportive the kids really need to uh, work very hard and pursue their dreams and if they can get a a healthy mix of parental support and a child working really hard that's when the magic will really happen exactly vishal you know this is the fact you know sometimes uh, the kids who actually you know could be national champs 
are refrained from the facilities, are refrained from uh, what they want to do actually in life. Coming back to Sojanya, how was your feeling when you won the, the 2019 national championship? Um, well, um, right when you start, I mean, when you start playing tournaments, it's always been a dream for me to be to be called a national champion. Um, you know, it was like a step to for me to get into the international circuit or just get a name tag. Um, so uh, when when I finally won it, I couldn't believe it, but uh, because there were so many years that I couldn't play due to some injuries or uh, I was away playing some other tournaments. But uh, when I finally won it, I was, I cannot still explain the feeling. It's just uh, beyond my any words. Um, but, but yeah, now everywhere I go, uh, people address me as, oh, a national champion. So it's, it's great. It's, it's, it stays with me forever. So it's, it's amazing. So like how you cheer up yourself in big tournaments like this, you know, BJK. Um, I personally, I feel every match is important, but, um, but playing for the country, I mean, a big responsibility also, um, it's a great opportunity. So that itself is a big motivation for me and for everyone in the team to just keep going and giving our best. So, um, yeah, I don't think I need something special to cheer me up. I am always motivated and uh, ready to give it all. But I know a single liner which can actually cheer you up. If someone will say someday that Sajanya, aapke Sajanya se humne ek ab jeeta hai, so then you will feel good, I think, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> so like, uh, which year is memorable for you, Sajanya, when you actually felt good that you won, you know, most of the matches or titles? Um, it's definitely 2019 for me. Uh, I got I, I mean, I won the nationals. I did, I did well on the international circuit as well, and uh, I beat some good players. Um, and I got selected to represent India for the first time in 2019. So I would say 2019, but 2022 so far has not has been very, very nice to me. I am representing India again, and I've had. I've had one of the biggest wins of my career this year already. And uh, so, yeah, 2019 and 2022. Okay, the same question goes to Rutuja also. Wait here. Uh, to be honest, uh, I would say when I was, I mean, the best years or like, like you know, like 1916, when again, like Sojanya, I won. Uh, my national uh, national championship. I think I'm one of the youngest to win it. And obviously that same year, I was also picked uh, on the Indian team. That's when I made my debut. And uh, yeah, like once I graduated in 2017 and I came back, um, uh, my journey has all, like like been upwards, kind of. Uh, I got to uh, play in, on the Indian team again, played the Asian Games that year in 2018. I won a couple of uh, ITF Pro Tours, uh, so yeah, I think uh, when I was 15, 16 and 2018 was like one of my most positive years and I hope to, you know, keep going and make the uh, make the coming years also positive for me. So like Rutuja, who was your role model while growing up? Uh, my parents, my dad especially, he's always been my role model. I've seen him give uh, 100% in whatever he does. Uh, and especially like during COVID, I saw him like uh, like he was at home. I mean, not at home, but he got posted in, in Pune. And uh, luckily during COVID, like Sojanya said, that we were very fortunate to spend time with our families because being on tour is very tough, you know, because you're alone most of the time. So I got to see my father and how he was able to, you know, forget about himself and just, you know, go to work every day and, you know, help out during COVID. So, yeah, and... Uh, Apart from that, apart from my parents, I would say um, Saina Nehwal is someone I've always looked up to. I think she is an incredible person, like, you know, who's, who's done so much for our country in, in, in badminton. And uh, the way she just fights on the court is something I would always, like, I would love to, you know, uh, meet her one day and just learn a lot, like how she is able to, you know, do that, you know, year in, year out every day. 
Okay, so you know, uh, uh, we hope that your wish come true because you know soon we'll be taking Saina Nehwal also on sports flashes, and I I can't promise, but yeah, of course we can do a two win with you. Two win means and one window with Saina Nehwal and one with Rudhijan. So, and so your... my next question would be, you know, what kind of physical training? And of course, this question goes to Vishal Upal also. What kind of physical training do you do to keep yourself in top shape? Tell us about your practice schedule, uh, all of you three. Um, well, I mean, it also, I mean, the practice schedules depend on you know, how you're feeling that day, what the coach has planned for you and what your physical needs are. I think everyone has different uh, set of things that they need to work on. I would say like I'm working a lot on my strength uh, in the past few months and past years. So, I mean, my my training schedule start in the morning and we finish around three, four in the afternoon. And it, it's based a lot on strength and, you know, it's been on court in the gym and just it's, it's a mixture of everything. I mean, it's not just one thing that you need to focus on. Tennis is such a such a sport that it's not just one thing, but the whole body that needs to be worked. So, yeah, it's, it's just a mixture of everything and hours and hours on court and in the gym. So, Vishal, do you agree with her? Yes, you know, I, I mean, every athlete uh, has to make their schedule based on where they are in their own journey. Uh, you know, what, what their needs are, what they need to really work on, improve. So I think it's a very individualistic thing and it's very tough yeah. to generalize it. The only thing that can be common in training for every athlete has to be, it has to be purpose driven. Uh, it has to be very uh, precise. It has to be very committed. And you really have to work very hard if you want to get ahead. Uh, you know, if you want to get better, you really have to work very hard, very diligently, uh, and make sure you're not wasting your time by procrastinating. You have to to really make sure that uh, uh, you know it's not the number of hours you put in training; it's the productivity of the hours that you put in training that really matters. So your training is pr productive, and uh, and also not to forget your recovery in the whole process. A lot of people just focus on on training and then they forget that uh, you know recovery is a very big part of training so not to neglect your training uh, and and your recovery either okay uh, sajanya coming to you you know in uh, what was uh, you know how you ever think that if you uh, didn't play tennis so which game would you like to play or you have played if not tennis um i i think i would choose badminton but <laughs> but ah, that's something that's something Sina I, Nehwal, uh, fan, I guess yeah Saina Nehwal Sindhu we have so many yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. but but no um, I used to play badminton with my sisters when we were young before I picked up tennis um, so yeah but otherwise I've known tennis my whole life I don't think my life would be the same without tennis so um, I wouldn't want it any other way so anyone you know any advice would you like to uh, give to upcoming tennis players i think uh, i think you need to trust the process and uh, believe in yourself even when no one's believing in you like you don't need anyone to believe in you first of all but just in case someone's putting you down just make yourself a cup of tea and just say <laughs> Screw them all. <laughs> and just do you. And just do this you. Was a good one. <laughs> this was a good one. Okay, you play most of the doubles matches with Rishika Sankara. So what was the one thing you liked the most about her? It's the ease that we have on uh, we have with each other. Um, we we are also very good friends off court and uh, we have we have known each other since i've i've begun my uh, tennis career um what i like the most is that sh we enjoy being on court okay so it's not like a it's not like serious uh, pressure putting situation for us whenever we are on court we just enjoy ourselves and uh, i think that's when we we, we she gets the best out of me and uh, that's how that's how i would want to play doubles and i enjoy being on court with her 
So now you know that's a buzzer question to both of the players, Sajanya and Rutuja. Uh, let me see who answers the same, and let me uh, make out who answers first. So now, Vishal is a lenient coach or a stricter coach, or is he balanced? One, two, three. Strict. Strict. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I would oh. say. Yeah, I would say oh, balanced. What? I hope I'm balanced because that's one of the key key factors. You know, you've got to keep you've got to work your players hard, but you also have to respect their wishes and you have to go by what they tell you as to how they're feeling physically, if they need to take uh, you know, a session off or not. So you have to be respectful of, of everything, but at the same time you have to try and be uh, you know uh, tough also. But Supriya, what I can tell you is Hopefully, one of these days soon on your show, Sports Flashes, there will be a couple of young girls who will be coming and telling you that we'd love to get to meet Rutuja and Sojanya and Ankita and Rhea and all the, and Sanya and, and try and emulate them and their uh, heroics uh, playing for India. So I, I hope on, on, on Sports Flashes very soon, these girls will be the role models that people will look forward to uh, meeting and interacting with. Thank you so much, Vishal, for these golden words. Actually, we needed it so desperately, you know. Vishal, it has always been an inspiration talking to you. The strength, the, the work hard uh, capability of yours and in your students, in your team. I can see it very well. I've often seen you, uh, you know, uh, having fun. I have seen you making jokes and cracking jokes. I've interviewed you before also. And you have always been a sweet Guy always, you know, uh, he is a straight and he should be straight because you have to win, you know, the cup. And we hope the best for the team. We hope the best for the BJK 2022 tournament. All the best to you three. On that note, this is Supriya Saxena on the Sports Flashes. Say goodbye. Please keep rocking and be a pride to India always. Thank you, Thank Supriya. you so much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much.